All right. Hello, everyone. Today, I have some new things that I recently purchased that I'm pretty excited about. I'm gonna do some skating today after work, and I'm gonna be skating new shoes and a new board, which could be a mistake, but we'll see. I honestly think it'll be fine. The new shoes I'm speaking of are these lovely salmon colored S shoes. Soltec are pretty much the only shoes I'll skate besides the Vans half cabs, but I had to change it up a little bit. I've, I'm on my like third or fourth pair of half cabs, so I really gotta change it up. Honestly, I'm kinda, I'm torn at the idea of changing up my setup and my shoes because I'm feeling comfortable with where I'm at, but I also don't wanna kinda pigeonhole myself in, oh, I can only skate this kind of shoes and I can only skate this size and shape and concave of deck. I really don't want to do that to myself and then find myself completely unable to have fun with anything else. So these S shoes will be what I'm rocking for the next month and a half, two months. We'll see how long they last. Pretty excited to skate them though regardless. They have pretty hefty toe caps. They're medium height. The insides are super soft and cushiony. The insides are navy blue, which is kind of weird. Navy blue and salmon pink but these gum outsoles are just amazing. Does that not just look appetizing for skating? These are the SXL Slim. I'm really excited to skate these, cannot wait. My half cabs are pretty well shot and I should not skate them anymore because they're looking like major doo-doo. All right, let's go ahead and open the box. smarter man would have brought a knife but I am the knife and I don't think this came with grip tape so I will not be setting it up right this moment however I get off work early and oh wow I get off work early enough where I will have time to go get grip tape oh my goodness Oh my goodness, look at this thing. Love that, super reflective, it is neat. This is an 82 by 32 twin tip, 14.2 inch wheelbase. I think my last board was a 14, either 14.125 or 14 inch wheelbase. So this is very, very, very slightly wider wheelbase, but it has the twin tip construction, meaning the nose and the tail are the exact same length and appear to be the same shape as well. Correct me if I'm wrong. Thing looks amazing. Let's unpeel this puppy, get a closer look. As always, comes with the Santa Cruz sticker, which I love. Ooh. So here it says Santa Cruz in the asteroid belt around that planet there. I'm assuming that is planet Santa Cruz with some explosions or pineapples, I don't know. Pineapple planet. There's a number on here as well, 5791104111. Don't know what that means. And Santa Cruz, as far as I know, does not mark their decks where they were in the press so i'm not sure if this one was at the top in the middle or on the bottom but this thing is looking fantastic this thing also appears to be just a regular deck i don't think this is a vx deck so this is going to be cool i haven't skated a regular deck in quite a while we'll see how long this thing lasts we'll see if i am capable of skating regular decks or if i will just destroy them i really don't think i will but if I do, so be it. This thing's gonna be so cool. Super duper excited. Kind of wanted a VX deck. Upon ordering this, it did kind of appear as if it was a VX deck. It was like 70 bucks. And I was like, oh, that's a pretty good deal for a VX deck. Because I thought it said Asta 
VX deck because it's the one he's been talking about if you watch us his videos but no this is just a regular seven ply maple deck should be cool it doesn't feel insanely heavier than a VX deck it's weird I've come full circle I've gone from riding just VX decks and these being the norm to now getting a maple deck and it's gonna be like a new feeling it's gonna be interesting this one's definitely on its way out looking a bit chunked up it's gonna feel really nice to have something fresh to ride can't wait on the topic of skateboarding recently I've kind of found myself in a weird sort of purgatory with my skating where I feel drawn in a lot of directions. In the past, I used to do a lot of weird flip tricks. I'd spend a lot of time working on doing kind of unusual sort of flip tricks with like body barrels and 540 spans and late hospital type variations, things like that. And recently, I sort of feel myself more being drawn, at least the last couple months, to just perfecting the tricks that I can do. And as much as landing these crazy new tricks feels like doing a 540 double flip or something as much as that would feel really awesome i almost feel more joy in working on perfecting my more basic tricks like getting a really good half cab heel or getting a really nice switch heel landing bolts catching it boning it things like that are almost just as rewarding as doing the other stuff and it's kind of led me to this revelation that it doesn't matter what I'm doing on my skateboard. As long as I'm on my skateboard having fun, then there's no right or wrong way to do it. Nothing I can do and land on this is wrong. No matter what I end up trying to do, whether I'm trying to do new things or work on old things, it's all right. As long as it feels right up here and in here, it's right. I need to spend less time worrying about, oh, am I spending my time wisely? I only have two hours to skate today or I only have 30 minutes to skate today. I better use my time wisely. I need to stop worrying about that. I'm putting way too much stress on myself in regards to like skating with a time crunch, skating before or after work, trying to skate before it gets dark, etc. I spend a little too much time worrying about that and I should spend more time just enjoying it. I need to get better about stopping for breaks every now and then, not just running myself until I'm literally on the verge of death. I need to stop doing that. I think a lot of us could learn to do that a lot less. And I think once we can finally find that zone where you're not just killing yourself and you're actually enjoying it, your skateboarding is gonna take off. The happier you are, the more comfortable you are, your skateboarding's gonna improve as well. Just like art. Art created when an artist is in a good mood, a clear headspace, that art is gonna turn out way better than when they're in this dark headspace. They feel like they just have to paint, they need to. They got bills to pay, they need to paint something so that it'll sell and they can pay their rent, pay their phone bill, whatever. That art is not gonna be near as good as the art they create just out of pure love, pure passion. And that's something I wanna work on more because at the end of the day, skateboarding is an art. And it's something that takes a lot of time, a lot of practice, but after a while you find your niche, you find what's comfortable for you. And when people see you skating the way you skate, not when you're trying to emulate anyone else, when they see you skating the way you skate, they can tell. And it's much more enjoyable to watch. <sighs> all right, I think that's all I have for today. Looking forward to skating. Later, I'm gonna be skating the new shoes. I'm gonna wait to skate the new board until I get some grip tape. I'm really excited to skate that thing though. It's looking like really good shape. I've only skated one other twin tip shape before. So yeah, pretty excited about that. Can't wait. Mm -hmm.